Good morning, dear friends. Uh, what a joy it is to meet you all through this uh, morning devotion again. Um, for today's uh, meditation, I thought let's uh, ponder a little on uh, God's mercy in our lives. And um, A. W. Tozer, he he has written in one of his uh, you know writings, mercy is not something that God has, but something that God is. Okay, and uh, that is what uh, we read in uh, Ephesians chapter 2 verses 4 and 5 which says but God who is rich in mercy because of his great love with which he loved, loved us even when we were dead in trespasses made us alive together with Christ and by grace we have been saved okay and um, uh, to ponder more on this um, I thought let's uh, look into the uh, life of uh, Mana, King Manasseh. It's given in uh, 2nd Chronicles chapter 33 verses 1 to 20 and uh, in this we read uh, you know uh, an account of the life uh, from the life of King Manasseh. Uh, we all uh, talk about people who are very notorious right, right? and um, this chapter it gives in the early few uh, verses it gives the uh, notorious acts of this particular uh, you know, a notorious person, and um, he had been you no, know, he had, he had done exactly the opposite of what his father King Hezekiah did. Okay, and uh, he this uh, King Manasseh he started began his reign at uh, twelve years of age. Okay, that's quite early. Yeah, but uh, you know, and he has reigned for nearly fifty five years, uh, the longest of any uh, Judean king. Okay, um, but what we read is an account of how he did evil in the in the eyes of God. Um, you know, and to be very specific, uh, you know, some one or two things that I would uh, call out is, um, you know, he he did acts for you know uh, he did deliberate mistakes. That is, uh, God had told them uh, not to allow any pagan worship inside the temple of God, but he had. Um, you know, uh, made a molten image and he had taken that into the temple of God where God had said, I will put my name forever. So like this, he had done many acts very deliberately and in one of the verses it is uh, given that, you know, he, it aroused God's anger. Okay, so to that uh, extent he has done. Uh, and in between we also read in one of the verses, verse 10, it says that, the Lord spoke to King Manasseh and uh, and to his people, but they paid no attention. And uh, later on, we can see that you know through the seers also God spoke to him, but uh, he would not listen. Okay, and now we again we read that God puts him in distress where he is taken by the king of Assyria, and there he realizes that he is in distress. Okay, and what he does. Is, uh, is a proof of God's mercy in each one of our lives, a reminder of God's mercy in each one of our lives. And uh, what, uh, what it says there is, this King Manasseh, he realized that he was in distress and he sought the favor of the Lord his God and humbled himself greatly before the God of his ancestors. Uh, he sought the favor of the Lord, of, uh, Lord his God and um, that one particular verse it says of how much he realized that he was in a distress because of his own iniquities okay because of his own deliberate acts which he uh, did to arouse god's anger in his life so now he realizes that it is because of the anger of god that you uh, know that he is now in this situation and what he does is he runs straight to god asking god i have sinned against you that is that is the you know um, uh, that is the uh, thought that uh, that is there in his heart for which the action that he did is he sought the lord and um, in, the, in verse 13 it is given the lord was moved by his entreaty and listened to his plea and he brought him back to jerusalem and to his kingdom then manasseh knew that it was it is the lord our god and uh, you know from this particular um, uh, thing and then we go on to read that Manasseh did everything he undid whatever um, 
you know notorious acts that he did he uh, you know did it like uh, whatever idols he kept he removed them um, the high places that he built he removed them and he started honoring the lord our god okay so what we learn from this is one of the thing is um, you know our though the lord's mercy is on us our own acts have its own consequences that is how he was taken uh, by the king of assyria but then there he cries out to the lord so there is a hope of restoration in the lord you know for anyone for that matter and uh, uh, this me i need not uh, you know we all have had this experiences in our life and um, you know and um, uh, the one thing that is there is uh, we need to put aside our arrogance and uh, you know our defensive uh, attitudes and we have to recognize our mistake wholeheartedly and wholly and we have to confess it wholly and that only can bring this kind of a change of behavior and this change of behavior only it allows us others to see god's mercy what all it can do in our lives when we be, we uh, live as a transformed human being okay so this um, this uh, journey of uh, you know uh, falling into sin but, but uh, receiving god's mercy and being restored back it all is all it's it is all um, an image of god's mercy in our lives so uh, finally from this particular uh, chapter what we learn is the depth of god's mercy how deep and wide and how high is god's love and how you know how patient he is in bringing us back uh, to him and when we truly seek him we are if we will definitely be heard that is what we read in manasseh's life in manasseh's from manasseh's life right god saw his humility and he listened to his plea when we completely uh, return to him without any arrogance god listens to us and we see how god's mercy restores us back how it how it restored manasseh the same way it can restore us back also such is the extent of god's mercy in our life what a good and wonderful god we have and uh, you know yeah, this is he is a god whom we don't uh, uh, you know whom we cannot uh, just ignore his mercy cannot be just ignored and at the same time this mercy has to be extended to others also uh, let's uh, you know try to pray for many people who have who are not still experiencing this mercy and restoration from god and let's you know be a witness to them and bring them to the lord's um, and bring them to experience this favor from god um, and wishing you all you know a wonderful life um, wherein we experience god's mercy each and every day and also uh, spread it out to those with whom we work or with whom we are may god bless each and every one of us thank you Thank mm-hmm. you.